What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost. And when you hire activist SJWs at your company, when you hire people who despise everyone that's in your community because of their gender, when you hire someone who is willing to insult and berate your audience until they go away and the only people that are left are the ones that agree with her in her echo chamber, you shouldn't be surprised when you have results like this. And G4 is feeling it right now. In the weeks since Frost's meltdown on G4 TV, it has not been good for them. We've seen them bleeding subscribers. We've seen them become an absolute meme around the internet. Everyone is roasting them and it hasn't stopped. And maybe the worst part of all of it is that Frost still can't keep her mouth shut because this is who she is. She is still arguing with fans. She is still calling the entire G4 community, if you don't 100% agree with her, she is calling them sexist because she hates them. She hates the fans. This has been a reoccurring thing with her throughout her entire career. And now G4 is paying the price. You can see the headline from Bounding Into Comics, yet another great picture of Frost. G4 loses thousands of subscribers following X-Play host Indiana Black's sexism in gaming rant. And indeed, it has continued. You saw 5,000 over a few days, another 1,000 on Wednesday. The slide is continuing, although it is slowing down. It's definitely slowed down. It is still going on. And it was all after this rant, which has been absolutely ratio to hell. How have I not disliked this yet? That's shocking. 32,000 down votes to 3.4 thousand up votes. And now, what do we have? We have Frost continuing to go after fans. She can't keep her mouth shut. She keeps doing this. I made a video the other day about her on Twitter essentially being proud of the fact that she's gained followers and it might have made her a little bit of money. In the meanwhile, G4 is bleeding subscribers and the reputation is in the shitter. But she doesn't care because she only cares about herself, not about G4 TV. Now... She's fighting again with fans on Reddit. And this is something that is very common for her as well. In her history, we know this. This is an article from, I think, 2021. Yeah, from 2021. This was after Frost got let go from her other LEC job where she was a commentator, where she had a bunch of problems with people in the community because if you didn't agree with her, if you didn't love everything she said, she would call you a sexist. She would come after you history of this happening. Listen here. However, disregarding some of the blatant hate messages, there is constructive criticism that Frost could work on. Yet more often than not, she would respond with a repulsive comment back at the entire League of Legends community for not accepting her. Frost is no stranger in the League of Legends Reddit thread as she would often respond to threads about her. Some of the comments say she often victimizes herself, where she announces she gives up or will retire from the scene soon. Uh, it is just a common theme with her to go on there to play victim, to insult the fan base. That's what she does. G4 knew this when they hired her. They knew this about her, yet they brought her on anyway. And now it's resulted in her going after the fans, G4 standing behind her, and them losing subs, losing their reputation at the end of the day, losing money. This is a Reddit thread that says, why are people hating on lady hosts, especially Frosk? And this was at the beginning of this thing, right? When she went off on a rant and everyone realized that the real reason this happened was because she got called out. She got called out for making mistakes about game releases, thinking some were exclusive to Xbox when they absolutely were not, uh, thinking that certain companies and certain developers were owned by other companies. She was completely wrong. That is why she got called out. That's why she got a little bit of backlash in the comments section. She decided to turn that into a victim narrative because... Oh, because she's a woman, people just don't like her. Got blown out of the water. Well, she has an interaction just two days ago with Sean Finnegan. After all this is starting to blow over, she just can't let it go. And Sean, and I don't know if that's his real name or not, but Sean Finnegan in the G4 Reddit, a G4 fan, um, says a couple things to Frost, and she once again exposes who she really is. You were out of line. You wagged your finger at the community. You demonstrated incredible unprofessionalism and a lack of judgment that is not only immature, but lacks any true self-awareness. You obviously can't handle criticism and have a huge self-esteem issue. Your rant mentioning previous hosts and making the bangability and jack-off comments were crude, inappropriate, and just vile. You alienated gamers who would have supported you had you approached the issue without being toxic and insulting. I don't give a damn that you're a woman. I'm judging you as a person based on your actions and your words. That's equality, by the way. 
I have no confidence that you're understanding the problem here and you only dig yourself into a deeper hole by doubling and tripling down on this mistake. I will not be watching G4 because of your behavior and the behavior of Sessler. You have both destroyed the relaunch of G4. It's dead. These are thoughts that are shared by a lot of people and it's pretty well stated, to be honest. And he says you're gonna continue to double and triple down. Indiana Black, Frost, does exactly that. Let's read on because it continues. It does continue. It was a three minute segment where we rant about something in gaming that bothered us in a two hour show. Seems to me you're letting your biases sway you in what is actually a problem. If you think asking people not to be sexist is toxic, then I don't think we're having a discussion in good faith. Cheers. And they always bring up this good faith discussion as if saying that you're not arguing in good faith automatically dismisses everything without proving anything at all. Uh, the point is you used something that had nothing to do with the fact that you were a woman that was criticism directed because you got some things wrong and you turn that into calling your audience sexist. Doesn't get to work that way, Frost. And this dude is destroying you right now. Again, you missed the point because you failed to take responsibility. What bias specifically are you accusing me of having? Once again, you point your finger. You don't even know me. You are the one in the video having a meltdown, not me. I don't deny there is sexism, but I don't make broad accusations or accuse people of things. My criticism of you is specific and based upon your words and your actions. You're trying to paint me to be biased. Therefore, you want to diminish my opinions. Sorry, you don't get to do that. You didn't really ask, you ranted, you lectured, you accused, used a shotgun when you should have used a scalpel. You were making emotional scree and you were misguided. And from your response here, you still ignore your responsibilities and your role. You are obviously of low self-esteem compared to the previous host. They have and had nothing to do with what you were venting about. You were criticized for your lack of gaming knowledge. You got butt hurt and lashed out. You were toxic in the way you lashed out at everyone watching, at all the people and the DM, and the male gamers in general. We gamers, not just men, see you. You are correct. We're not gonna have good faith discussion because you lack the maturity and responsibility to be accountable for your actions. You own all of this. Maybe you should attempt to be more self-aware and offer a sincere apology to those of us in the audience who didn't deserve the emotionally charged blast you released. Own it and apologize. I suspect it's far too late, however. This dude is schooling her. Uh, calm, cool, and collected, breaking down all of the things that are wrong with what Frost is doing and has continued to do since that moment. And she continues to double down. I didn't get butt hurt for not knowing something. No one's perfect. I make mistakes all the time. I didn't even know people were up in arms about whatever. That speech was due to seeing years worth of sexist behavior at and to me. And you are proving my point with this post. Once again, labeling someone sexist because they're criticizing her. Nothing in here is about her being a woman, right? It's all about her actions and what she's doing. This dude, once again, lets her have it. And this is all leading up to Frost attacking the entire community once again, just so you know. Let's read on. How am I proving your point with what I've posted? I am holding you to standards that are genderless. As I stated, I don't care about your gender. I judge you on your words and actions alone. You claim you didn't even know. Well, you should have known the information you provided was incorrect and that your statements demonstrated that you didn't know the material you're paid to know about. You failed. Then you make excuses about it. No personal responsibility. Now you're attempting to label me as sexist because I have a problem with how you acted and what you stated. Here, we go, the last response from Frost. I did address the individual specifically. I didn't lose any temper of judgment. I was very controlled and delivered during a segment for exactly what the segment was for. You're showing your bias in the language you used to describe what was a three minute segment for exactly that, things that were BS in gaming. Gerard was actually gonna make the same point, but he didn't need to. Yes, I'm sure Gerard was gonna do a three minute rant about sexism in gaming. I'm sure that's what was going to happen. Now bringing your other hosts into it, interesting. Then we moved on. We gave away an Xbox. Continue with content and two-hour stream because that's what we do. You're part of bad faith actors that assume asking for people to stop being sexist to women in the industry that is rife with gender discrimination and toxicity is somehow bad. If you're not part of the problem, then you weren't who I was talking to. So you can move on. But... It's very clear, you are a part of the problem as shown by your discourse, attacking my character. I misspoke on two games, but it's been blown up as a means to try to attack me because the community is sexist. 
People make mistakes all the time. They're not held to the same standard as women or other marginalized voices in the industry. That's all I have to say. You can continue to respond, but I won't. You should read on some feminist literature to better educate yourself. I really recommend Eloquent Rage or Ain't I Woman. Pay close attention to what she said. Uh, I misspoke on two games, but it's been blown up because the community is sexist. She hates you. She hates gamers. She hates G4 fans. She hates you. If you don't 100% agree with her, she thinks you're sexist. She continues to make this so much worse for G4. Uh, what an embarrassment. Frost is an absolute fucking idiot. She does not know when to shut her mouth and she never will. She has done this for years and will continue to do this likely her entire life. Let me know what you think about this. Another attack on the G4 community from Frost. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.